Hello, Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster. An amazing, amazing box, apparently. Everyone opening it told me, yeah, you should definitely get one. The value is incredible. So I really hope I continue that streak and I don't actually ruin it. Because <laughs> this does not come cheap. This came at £305. Um, and it was a discounted price from 324.95, so actually 325. So I got it for a very good price and from Magic Madhouse. So I'm hoping to really, really get some good, good, good things on this. And I will do the full process with you, unpack it, and um, I should remove the shrink as well, unpack it, and we'll just go through the 12 booster packs in this um, box. All right. I already made a video about what to check in this. Um, When you get a booster pack, especially if you get it from Amazon and things like that, just make sure that there are a few things. Yeah, check out my other video on that. There we go. So yeah, there's 12 collector boosters in this. And yeah, there are cards, like the Force of Negations, that you can only find in here. Let's open it. Wonderful. Right. Make sure that all the packs, see, very, very neat, stuck together very nicely. This one was a bit pushed, but that's that's allowed. It's because you know, these products are shipped, but everything seems to be stuck very neatly, and they're all front facing. So we are happy with that. Right, let's check this out. Number one. The pack, very tightly closed. Yes, there is a little bit of this, but. Mm. Nah, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, I'll be particularly cautious today because this is an expensive one. I think they go um, around £27 a pop. So yeah, this is not a cheap product. Right. So, token foil. Let's put it here. Right, common foil, common foil, common foil, so another common, and then we get the Rakdos headliner, uncommon foil, an uncommon foil, planes, and then we get extended art, Asmorano Marti Kada Istina Kuldaka. Hope my pronunciation is fine, so this is um, Alternative art, nice find. A kitchen imp alternative art as well. Oh my days. Guys, we already got the Jimmy card. Ragavan alt alternate art. This is the most expensive thing besides, the, I think the force of negation is even more valuable, but this is an incredibly expensive card. This probably touches the 100 euro mark. Okay, that is an amazing star. Wow, wonderful. I'm, I'm just gonna put this on, on its own. Like I'm just gonna show you for the rest of the video. This is, uh, this is extremely good. And then we get Floodhound. Step through, which is common. And this is from the list, from Modern Horizons 1 actually, Etching of the Chosen. Oh, there we go. 
another extremely valuable card, Ignoble, Ignoble Hierarch Foil. This should be around the 20 euros mark. And we get Piru as well. I don't know how much Piru is valued. But it's foil. Looks good. 7-7. Seven, seven. Flying life link. Sacrifice. When he dies, 7 damage to each non-legendary creature. Yeah, it's a nice Elder Dragon. Right. Not sure about the value of this one. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, could, I couldn't have dreamt of a better star. Let's go to the second one. Talking another flood hound. That's flat. Chef's kiss, uh, alternate art. Jade of Angel, vindicate, alternate art. This, this could. Be worth a little bit. Blaze your rock right now. Calibrated blast from the list. I am not familiar with this one, so I'm not going to comment on it. And then Rich than Dock Hand. Let's go with this one which highlights the risk of buying single collector boosters because they come at a premium. You really need to make sure that you get your money, what your money's worth. But uh, yeah, let's check this one out. But again, maybe that card is very valuable and I'm just not aware of it. So I'm not gonna make too, I'm not gonna comment too much unless I know the value of each single card. Another bird token. This one's that's mm, nice. Factory Foil, an island, unmarked grave, alternate art. Um, this one should be should be quite good. See this harvest hand um, should be should be should be a good one. Chance to storm foil, goblin archaeomancer. Turach, Dread Canter. Nice one. Oh. And then we got the Seon of Draco. Alternate Art Foil. Yeah, this should be. This should be of value. It also looks absolutely fantastic. Okay. This was booster pack number three. Nine to go. I'm just gonna move this like this so we all got a clear view. Just let me play with this. There we go. And we can all see the how many we have left. I think it's time for a fetch line. <laughs> Is that true? The Academy Manufacturer, Alternate Art. The Obsidian Charmor. Floodhound. Bone Shred. Yeah. So we found Fire Nice, it's not valuable. And Asmoral Nomadica, this they call the car foil. Okay. Right. Still on still, still a lot to go. 
the first one, definitely the best one. The best one so far. Top the token. Oh, these are double tokens. Top the clue token. Let's, let's check out the other ones because I didn't check the back. Scrap treasure. Uh, bird squirrel and we get crab treasure okay, looks right carve the lion alternate uh, yes that's really good. As per Sentinel, uh, different alternate art. It's called a black and white art. Put this one here. Goblin Anarchomancer, or is it the common? Common shenanigans from the list. Prismatic Vista from the list. Excellent. Foil as well. This is extremely expensive. Yeah, I mean, extremely probably black, but it's probably around the, the 30, 30 euros mark. And it was, oh wow, guys, this is, this was a, this was a, a great booster pack. It was a Saga alternate art. Let's put another 30 euros card. I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing, right, like this, um, I've got very little insight on the values of uh, foil cards and, um, alternate art cards um but I, I, I mean i do i do have a lot of knowledge about just normal cards um about the the the, the value but when, when it comes to four it's very difficult to also to determine i, I go based on car market but sometimes there are none on sale so <laughs> it's difficult to determine but yeah this one yeah w my guess would be around the 30 euros mark uh this was amazing this was another booster pack that gave us almost double the value, the, the cost of the of the single pack. Right. So this one, after we finish this one, we'll be halfway. I'm not gonna comment on what the cards do. This is this is a collector booster, so we're only just gonna focus on the collector aspect of it. The rarity of the cards, the beauty of the card, and the most importantly, the value of the cards. Zombie army, clue. There we go, our first fetch land. Borderless. The Verdant Catacombs definitely deserves a seat at the premium table. Rise and Shine, there we go. Alternate art as well. Another Bond Shard. Talisman of Creativity. It's not very valuable, but it's um, very useful. Like all commander's decks with blue and red pretty much use it, so very nice find. Okay, yeah, that's it. This is a Verdant, another Verdant Catacombs, but this one is foil and um, traditional, let's say, um, old frame. So this one's just go for, I think it's, a, it's over 50 euros. I know that the basic one is over 50 euros, so the full one is probably even more. And then we got Ave Progenitor Ooze. Yeah. Okay. We're halfway, and we've already um, found some incredible cards. So we probably, probably already made the money back. So everything we get from here is a bonus. So Phyrexian Germ and Treasure. Ooh, this is a pretty treasure. Um, Aladdin based. <laughs> the 
this is the sign that we start we're gonna see stars between beauties yes borderless misty rainforest so third fetch land faithless salvaging oh imperial recruiter borderless this is very expensive. Even the, the basic card is around, um, is around the 17 euros mark. The borderless one. Uh, could be double that. Fantastic card. Okay. Okay. No, sorry. Wrong one. There we go. Deep Forest, Hermit, Vanishing 3. That's that's even better than the, the ranged Hermit. Uh, I mean, it doesn't... The, the ranged Hermit pretty much does the same thing uh, with um, Echo. This one's got Vanishing 3. Uh, I'm going to guess that this one is worth a lot of money, but I'm going to be honest, it's not... Ooh. I wonder what this is. Um, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm not sure what the value, but I'm just going to put it here on trust. Oh, Necrogoy. Nice. Borderless as well. Um, not sure about that one. In terms of values, but... I like, I like borderless cards. I think they look just so slick. Okay, Beast, amazing token, and another Aladdin base treasure. I mean, it's my opinion, there's nothing official on that. I think that's what they were trying to make us think about. The Underworld Cookbook. Well, I think I've got already well, not this one for us. Okay, Gaia's Will. Thruster, Tempest Row. Borderless. Very good. Very good. Very nice card as well. I always wanted to do a dinosaur commander deck. So um, this one is no... I mean, it could be a good commander, to be honest. Yeah, it could be. If you've got a lot of pumping spells, we just put on the battlefield X-proof to turn your cast there. And yeah, you just... Uh, Deal the damage and you kill somebody with commander's damage. Yeah, it could be a good one. Very nice anyway. Very nice card. Look looks amazing though, like how cool are dinosaurs. Later then um Talisman of Resilience, another talisman. I didn't have this one, so yeah, great. Ayula, Queen Among Bears. No idea of the value of this one. Oh, wow. Borderless Mistress Factory. This one is classified as rare. Even the other one is classified. No, that's not uncommon. Okay, so the borderless one is actually rare. Looks good. Looks good. For those of you who are interested in the MTG lore, um, just check out the story and the rivalry between uh, Mishra and Urza. It's pretty cool. Right, four to go. It's very tricky to open. Signal. Okay, reached the dock hand. I think we found one of these already. Hmm, Caldra complete. Wow. Wow. Not sure about the value, but at the moment I don't care. This is what I miss from my um, Minsk or, or Boros equipment deck. Wow. Indestructible. And the equipped creatures gets plus five, plus five. First strike, trample, indestructible, haste. 
And whatever this creature does combat damage to a creature, exile that creature. This is amazing. Yeah, it costs seven, but it's got a living weapon, so you equip it when you play it. And equip seven can be waived in so many ways when you got an equipment deck. There are so many auto equip. Um, there is the um, the hammer that just gives you equip on um, ETB. Um, there is the uh, I'm so bad with names. Um, the 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 white creature, the legendary creature, ardent something. Sorry guys. Uh, yeah, so you can equip it with that. Oh, this is amazing. Right. Yeah, I said I would only comment on the volume collectors of the card. I know, but that some cards just are just so impactful that we need to talk about it. Very nice. Upheaval. This is banned from commanders. Very nice indeed. Inevitable betrayal. No, it says it reminds me of the corruption from the Macadian mask. Yeah, that's very good. Especially if you can, uh, if you got some uh, suspend manipulation, um, removing removing um, counters. That's a extremely good card. I think it's also worth a bit, so I'm just going to put it in here. And I think I forgot to remove the squirrel beast token at the beginning. Right, three to go. Amazing. No false negation, but that that will just be. Um, Jackpot. Absolute jackpot. All right, there we go. And we go very well. Scalding Tarn. Borderless alternate tarn, yeah. So borderless scalding tarn. Dress down. Interesting one. I could play with Rebecca. It's pretty good. Okay. No, but then Obeka will lose the ability. No, I can't play with Obeka. No, scratch that. Yeah, weird card. I'm, I'm sure there are some combination. Generous Gift, uncommon, but it's actually very good, very useful. And I'm, I'm sure it's actually worth some something, especially being foil. I'm actually going to put it with the rest because that's probably north of three euros. Another guy as well. Oh, this is a... Um, Even the yeah, the chance gift is from Modern Horizons, and this one just got the the old art thing. This is also from uh, Modern Horizon. Right, so yeah, when I said the list, I think I was mistaken. These are not from the list. These are just like uh, Modern Horizons, um, like the Force of Negation. So it's not the list. It's just simply for um, Modern Horizon. Food, <laughs> a scorpion, and timeless dragon. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So yeah, the force of negation is not. I mean, there were some the list cards, I think. Sorry, sorry about that. Let's have a look. Um, I stand corrected unless they were in the uncommon pile. So yeah, just Modern Horizons card. Found by me. When I say Modern Horizons, I of course mean Modern Horizons 1, even though the 1 wasn't there at the time. Right, top to squirrel. Still get a fair number of comments 
think they could reduce that. Forest. Oh, timeless dragon. Speak of the devil. Magus of the bridge. Mush flats. Nice. And this is the the old um, frame. A lot of people like the old frame, but that's probably just nostalgia. Oh, I prefer the, the new frame, like um, especially the the borderless ones. Let me see if I can find one that is more borderless. No, the, old, the non borderless one is the old frame. Yeah, marsh flats, the old frame, and then nettle cyst. Borderless. Last one. Let's remove this. Opened up the space nicely, so let's place things. Let's give it like a reasonable order. Okay, last one. What more can we ask from this collector booster box? Also negation. There we go. Soul Talisman, borderless. Very nice. <laughs> Dermotaxi, oh my god, this is the worst one. <laughs> Even the alternate art one is just. Uh... <laughs> oh well. Okay. Necrogoif, foil. Old frame. This is very valuable, very expensive. No, it's not. Sorry, I got confused with the Dolphin Shadow Walker now. I I stand corrected. Yeah. Okay, the, the last one was a bit um of a letdown. The diamond line is it looks it looks cool though. Looks very cool. Um and I think we asked everything we could from this box anyway. It's funny, it's funny to, to define finding a borderless diamond lion. Oh, this is chipped though. It's not good. Yeah, I'm gonna complain about that. This is chipped. Yeah, I was saying like it's it's a bit um, <laughs> to, to say, oh, I've, we found um, salt talisman borderless, diamond lion borderless, necrogoy foil. Um, to say, oh, this booster pack is a bit of a letdown. But again, just keep in mind that each one of these um, if you buy them individually, it costs north of £26. So they are, they are very expensive. But what to say, um, I definitely think that we got the £300 back with interest. I'm just going to put the... Um, there are a lot of grey cards, but I'm just going to put the... Fetch lens in here. I might actually refund the prismatic vista as well from the horizon one. Thank you for opening this um, this collector booster box with me. That was the first one of the channel. My first one in general, I, I never opened, I've opened some booster packs, but I never opened an actual box. And it comes at a premium, 
but especially if you're able to resell them, uh, I'm going to say that for this kind, for like something like Modern Horizons 2, if they're going to do another master set with um, with um, with a collector booster, which they probably will, um, I think um, it is worth it. From the experience I had today, and from what I've seen from my friends, because online they might open 10, and they show you the one that actually was amazing and you think oh my god they're all amazing but i actually this is the first one i have ever opened i've never opened any other and if if i open another one that's going to be terrible i will still publish it um because i think it's good to just uh show things as they are um but again all my friends have told me the ones that they open some they told me like it's just so much value from modern horizons to um not, not it, it, it's a bit more of a debate if you if you're talking about something like adventures in the forgotten realms i don't know what the value would be there and i haven't seen a single one open yet but even like one like street saving which has got the the um, uh, mystical archive in it i, I bet it, it would be pretty positive and it costs less than this one i think it costs around 210 pounds and so yeah yeah thank you very much um for opening this with me um, I hope it was fun and um, yeah, cheers everyone.